Hi everyone, you're home on the tools with James. We're in the front yard today doing our lawn renovation. I'm going to take you through the five steps that I do to get my lawn looking fantastic for spring and summer. Let's go and take a closer look. All right, well the first step, first thing we want to do is we're going to scalp the lawn. I'm actually breaking out the trusty rotary mower today to do that. I usually mow my lawn with a cylinder mower. I've currently got the lawn down to around 12 or 15 mil uh, and I'm looking to really scalp the lawn, take off all the green uh, in the first step. Now, we want to do this for a couple of reasons. One is we want to get our lawn nice and low again because I'm looking to really mow low throughout the, uh, the spring and summer and the, the lawn is starting to feel a bit spongy because I'm getting a, a bit of a layer of thatch underneath. This will really make sure that we knock it down nice and low for that uh, and it'll really help with the aeration of the soil as well. And being cacao, it's going to bounce back really quickly. So let's rip into it. I'm going to put, this, put the rotary mower as low as I can go. Uh, hopefully it is low enough and really take all the green off here. So let's go rip into it. we go we've scalped our lawn uh, look got three catches off there on the lowest possible setting with my rotary mower and perhaps would have liked to take a little bit more off but I'm as low as I can possibly go so now we're going to move on to step two and step two is scarifying and dethatching our lawn now I've got my AV18 volt scarifier here I'm going to pop a video up in the top right hand corner now if you want to check this machine out in a bit more in depth but what we're going to do here with this machine is dethatch the lawn and what it does it's got blades that cut vertically into the lawn it's going to cut apart the runners and it's going to pull up out all the thatch and really allow that soil to breathe. I'm going to come up and up and down the lawn and then crisscross so we make sure we cut it in all four directions uh, to make sure we really do dethatch the lawn really well. And a hot tip on this one is make sure your green waste bit is empty because I'm tipping I'm probably going to get 10, 15 catches out of this and it's going to create a lot of uh, a lot of mess. So let's go and rip into it. So there we go, we've dethatched our lawn. Now I ran the rotary mower back over the top of it and made sure I really did pick up all that thatch and debris. So we start with a really nice surface because now we're on to stage three or step three and that's core aeration. Uh, now I'm gonna do this today with a Cyclone uh, manual aerator, which I've modded up and I've put some really good tines on the bottom. When you buy these things, they're no good at all. You just need to pull the tines off, they're rubbish. Um, so I've modded it and put some really good tines on it. Now, not gonna lie, this is a prick of a job. Uh, it is about 200 bucks a day to hire an aerator and I think they start at about five grand to buy one. So um, certainly something that does make the job easier and if you've got a couple of mates and you're doing a few lawns at once it would be a really good job um, to all jump in, pitch in and get it all done uh, in one go. But I am going to have a crack at it with this today. Now the aerator, um, the reason we want to do this is we want nutrients um, to get to the soil. So we're going to pull up uh, cores out of the ground. If you do it right it should sort of look like Shih Tzu dogs and poodle all over your lawn uh, and then when we do our top dress in the next step uh, we'll fill it all back in with the sand and that makes sure that all the nutrients all the fertilizers and product that we're going to put on across spring and summer are going to get to those roots and make the plant grow really nice and strong so let's have a look at aerating the lawn
there we go. The, uh, the finished product after we've aerated the lawn. I tell you what, that was a lot of hard work. Um, but you can see all the little plugs uh, everywhere. Now a couple of things to note. Um, those tines are very sharp. Just be wary of your irrigation because uh, they will go straight through your irrigation hoses underneath. So you might sort of notice here that on the edges I haven't gone right to the very edge and that's just because I'm very wary of, uh, of the irrigation pipes because I have hit them in the past. The other thing too would be that uh, make sure you, you sort of irrigate um, prior to doing this. Um, you know, sort of the day before would be good. Just make the job easier for you. Um, this is pretty much topsoil and this is the first reno that this lawn's had so um, it was pretty soft uh, but still uh, it was a lot of hard work so I'm going to vacuum all these plugs up get them off the lawn and then we're going to have a look at the next step which is uh, top dressing let's go take a look So now we're up to step four, and that is uh, top dressing the lawn. So what you want to do is get yourself some good quality lawn sand. Uh, I'll show you what I've got here. Now the, the lawn that I've got, the soil I've got in the lawn is a top soil. Uh, but I'm going to put lawn sand in this. And what you want to do is you don't want to get lawn sand that's too fine. So you don't want bricky sand, it'll pack way too hard. And you don't want really coarse sand either. Uh, no good. So what you want to do is get a bit of a mix uh, and most of your landscaping supply places will you know do a lawn sand uh, but be picky don't just take you know don't take the word for their lawn sand check it out make sure it doesn't have any you know debris sticks big rocks or anything like that in it uh, make sure it's nice and clean so i'll show you what i've got here so really got you know quite a nice lawn sand which is which is good stuff uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to flick it with a uh, with a shovel across the surface of the uh, of the lawn. We're going to fill up all those plug holes, and we're going to fill in any low spots um, that we've got in the lawn. Now I've got a couple here; uh, they bugged me most of last summer, um, so I'm going to level those out as well. Uh, and I've got this great tool for doing that. That's called a landscaper's rake. Again, you can pick one of these up at Bunnings. They're uh, you know they're pretty easy to get a hand hand on. Um, I probably will lash out and get a bigger one uh, in the future because this is sort of probably a 600. Uh, mill wide, but this will do the trick. So let's go and top dress our lawn. You might have guessed step five, which is irrigation. We've given our lawn a pretty hard time uh, with the reno, and what we want to do now is make sure we get a good soak in uh, to help it recover. And I'll sort of treat this lawn like it's uh, like it's new for the next couple of weeks, and uh, make sure it gets a good water in, um, so it bounces back nice and quick. We do have some rain forecast for the next couple of days as well, which will really help. Uh, but making sure we get proper irrigation in here is uh, is essential. You probably can see out there in the middle. I've had to go pretty heavy. Uh, with a top dress and that was where I had that low patch where my cylinder mower would sort of bounce around a bit so that might take a little bit longer to recover uh, but the rest of it was sort of pretty light touch um, so down here you know it's still a lot of green poking through so I would expect it to bounce back you know in a couple of weeks and should be looking really sharp but uh, no I'm happy with how the uh, how the reno's come out and there we go lawn reno all complete uh, look, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you do have any questions, feel free, please, to leave them in the comments. Um, look, I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving us a like. If you do want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. You've been at Home on the Tools with James. I'll see you in the next one.